Hello guys and welcome back to our highlights from our Boxing Day Clash against Sholin. Many fans would have recognised that Gosport were playing in their away strip rather than their traditional yellow. This was used to add wood to the fire mimicking the famous rivalry of Portsmouth versus Southampton. And within the early minutes, Sholin were finding most of their joy through the right hand channel. Tarka whipped in a low cross into the borough box, somehow not finding the visitor's body and instead finding Stewart who cleared the ball away. On the 13th minute, high gospel pressure forced Gosney into making an early mistake. Like last week, Dan Wooden applied heavy pressure towards the Sholin keeper, but the keeper slipping and placing a misplaced pass into Antonio Diaz. The attacker hit his shot towards goal, but Owen Randall recovered well to clear it off the line. Dan Wooden with 4 goals in the last 3 games would have probably been expected to bury his effort after being sent a lovely free ball from Bradley Tarbuck. Good positioning from Gosney allowed him to get in the way of the striker's chance as the ball rolled out for a corner ball. With a minute left of the half, WT Billy Basari had his first crack at goal. Good build up a play allowed for the attacker to be given a ball with the winger smashing the ball over the visitors crossbar. Following this effort, I think a lot of fans thought Jake Scrimshaw had netted a late goal, but instead his shot was drilled into the Sholin side netted with the half finishing goal spot nil, Sholin nil. It was on the 59th minute when the deadlock was broken. Basari striding down the left hand channel did well to find Tarbuck on the overlap and dancing through the Sholin defence, the pass aimed at Scrimshaw instead found Hooky, with Hooky driving a low driven effort into the bottom corner, making the score 1-0 to Gosport and a brilliant first goal for the club. Three minutes later, the boatman did have an attack in numbers, with Cope leading the line. The red and white army marched forward with Cope firing a shot towards the bottom right corner and forcing Stewart to get down low to collect the ball. Sholin did have the ball in the back of the net after Owen Randall headed the ball in for a close range, but the flag was quickly raised, signalling offside and ruling the equaliser out. If this wasn't bad for the visitors on the 73rd minute, manager Paul Daswell got given a red card. After saying something to the referee, a red was shown. Initially hesitant to leave, Daswell did eventually leave the ground, and a like of fear to show the manager was booed out of the stadium. Gosport's last effort did come on the 82nd minute after Tarbot was fed a ball behind the Sholin defence. However, the winger rocketed one over the crossbar with the game concluding Gosport 1, Sholin 0. A big three points to take from a tough opposition with the other teams around us all dropping points and it's making the promotion battle even more exciting. This was our last game of the 2023 season and what a way to round off the year. We'll see you in the 2024 but final words from me, up the borough.